Hi, hi everyone. Carla here from Industry Connect. And today I've got the privilege to have a sit down chat with Manash Das. Now, Manash has just secured himself a role as a data analyst. Manash is um, from Auckland, New Zealand, and uh, it's only taken him six months, only six months, everyone, to secure himself a role as a data analyst. So welcome, Manash, and thank you so much for your time, spending it with us to share your journey with us today. Oh, thank you, Carla. Thank you so much for uh, having me for this interview too. Oh, wonderful. So, Manash, tell us a little bit about your kind of like backstory, your background. Did you, you obviously you did the, you joined us for the Business Intelligence Data Analyst Job Ready Program. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about your background, um, where you came from, um, did you have any technical background before you started the program? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, okay, so my birth country is Bangladesh, but like uh, from my standard fourth, I've been in India. So uh, just like that, I did my bachelor's from India in computer science. Uh, but after that, I had a bit of an issue with the visa process in India. So I had to go back right. to my country. And after that, I thought of coming to New Zealand for my postgrad diploma in computer science too. But during my postgrad diploma, I focused mainly on data science in general because I had majors like I had subjects like data analysis, machine learning, and stuff like that. So that I had moved towards that area in the long run. Wow! And because I also had my plan to be a data analyst and a data scientist eventually in the future. So that was clear from the beginning, even back in my days, uh, back from my bachelor days, I was, it was clear mm -hmm. that I wanted to become a data scientist in the future. So as soon as my diploma was over, I joined, like for instance, my diploma was over in December and I joined the Industry Connect platform as a business intelligence developer training program in February, I suppose. Now that was yeah. February 2021, everyone. Yeah, um, so long. what happened is that Manash did the six-week job ready program in February 2021. Yeah. He took a three-month break afterwards. So he uh, yeah. three-month break, and then he joined the gifted internship with MVP Studio. MVP Studio, yes. Yeah, so that is why he's only taken, not that is why, but if you look at that, it's taken only a total of six months to get to where he is. So just yeah. wanted to clarify that, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's so awesome, Manish. Love, love, love. You've been, and it's it's so awesome to hear that you have this, you had this goal way back to be a data scientist. Now you're starting, you're getting into this now. Um, it won't take very long before you get into that data scientist kind of side of things. You're a data analyst. It's kind of like that, but like, you know, data scientists is machine learning and all that kind of stuff. So just tell us, how did you come across Industry Connect? How did you find out about us? What is it, an advert? What was it? Uh, actually, one of my, I wouldn't say friends. He is a mutual friend, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So he had done one of your course. I think it was software developer course. Okay. Uh, so he told my friend and then my friend told someone else and like something like that. But then like once I had the gist that something like this exists, so I just went on to Google and then like everything was clear from that. Fantastic. Well, and that's a lot of things, you know, it, we have a lot of people now because we've been around for so long since 2013, it's more word of mouth because people have got jobs and then someone knows someone that knows someone that joined us and then they tell them it's just, it's a beautiful synergy because it's it's actually, I say the 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 proof is in the pudding. And so if oh, someone's yeah. done it and then they got there, then there's the proof. It's in the pudding. So yes. I just I love that saying. So that's what I I always say. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, um, how did you how did you find the the six week job ready program and how did you find it doing it? Um, and it was remote. We do our programs remotely with the tutor and other participants that are in your in the program. I'm just telling everyone here. So how did you find that? And how did you navigate that? Was how did you find that in in the total of the six six weeks? Um, to be honest, my main idea was uh, like I had some reservations when I joined the program, mm -hmm. but what I found was it was to the point. Like, it's not like a basic course that you start with the basics, then you go on to the advanced stuff. It was to the point, mm. like the, the instructor, they always taught us, okay, so this is what you need. This is what you might have to do. And this is the journey. So it's much more like a late path rather than a 
elongated journey that you might have to do in a diploma or something like that. So it's mm. to the point. You exactly know what you must do. And uh, you get familiar with what they use in the industry. For instance, we had uh, course, uh, we had to use SSDT, like Microsoft SSDT tools, like data tools. Then we had to do use Microsoft SQL Server and stuff like that. Mm. So you had an idea as to what we might expect when you go to a corporate sector rather than in an academic background that I had. So that's the confidence that actually I needed in the beginning so right. that like I don't really fear interviews when I actually face them. Mm. And so that was really the main part of the training that I think was that helped me a lot. So that's what, that what, what you gained from those six weeks. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Like Fantastic. It was to the point and like I had, uh, I had a checklist that I could clear mm-hmm. that, okay, so this is what I need for me to go ahead and actually be confident enough to sit for an interview or maybe work in a corporate sector, something like that. Awesome. So how did you find the tutors? Because the tutors, everyone that's watching, our tutors aren't like, you know, um, lecturers. They're actually Mm -hmm. working full time. So they bring a lot of experience into the sessions. Um, So how did you find the tutors? And did you get a lot of help during the during the six week program? Oh yeah, yeah. For instance, in the first class itself, uh, a lot of people had problems setting up Microsoft SQL Server. Some of them had problem of visual, like had problem setting up Visual Studio. Mm. So he took the time to answer everyone's questions. He was not hurrying into anything or something, or he wasn't trying to make anyone uncomfortable in that way. Mm. So that's something that everyone has, uh, everyone looks forward to. Because if mm. you're uncomfortable with your teacher, I don't think you get too far in terms of learning in the long run. So. That's that's so that's- true that's so true and that's the wonder of our tutors and that's we're very very particular when we actually choose our tutors because our tutors actually have a heart for the people and they 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 actually look at the whole room and see they're able to navigate their way through on from from you know someone's people that don't have so much knowledge to people yeah. that do have a lot of knowledge so they're able to bring it all together so that's why we just we we just love our tutors and how they that they have a heart for seeing people, you know, get jobs, seeing people learn really well and um, step into a career out there. That's what their heart is. Uh, so tell us, how did you find the transition from the six week job ready program? I know you had three months off, but yeah. when you got back into the in, where you started the internship with um, in MVP Studio, how did you find the onboarding and, and everything into the internship and going through the stages? Uh, the stages were created really uh, accurately because one cannot really expect someone who doesn't really have much of an academic background or a corporate background or any tech background. Mm. For instance, I have a bachelor's, but some of my classmates that did the program did not have any background in technical knowledge or any kind of technical knowledge. So right. the way they designed the MVP studios, the way they designed the program, the onboarding process, then the, uh, then the competition and then the sprints, it really makes you go step by step. So that's something that I really liked. Uh, it may be um, uh, for someone who had maybe a, uh, maybe experience like two to three years experience in the tech industry, it might be easier for them or harder for someone else. But the way they did it, so it is for everyone. It's not for someone who is new or it's not for someone who has been in the industry before. It's for everyone. And there's a there's a portion that everyone can aspire to or everyone can try to reach. Mm-hmm. But your own goal is always your own. And Industry Connect is going to lay a path for that goal i suppose in a manner of speaking yeah yeah awesome what would you say you know from from the um internship side of things and you know there's workshops that were put on and different things that you learn to grow you i i call this holistically what would you say were were the things or the highlights for you that helped you get to where you are today um i want to give a shout out to rishma because in the beginning, I used to watch her, uh, like I used to attend her sessions live, but in the end, I couldn't because of my other job scheduling stuff, uh, scheduling problem. But, I'll just jump uh, in here, Manesh. So, those that are watching, Reshma runs a workshop called Life Skills, and she's amazing. So, you um, get, yeah, you yeah. Get to that's what I was referring that. to the life skills sessions. Yes. So, sometimes what used to happen is like I had my internship, and then on, on my side, I also had the other job that. Uh, that to pay my rents and stuff so sometimes it could get really overwhelming mm. frustrating all kinds of 
stuff like you don't feel like doing anything i even sometimes felt like going back to my country and like giving it a rest or something like that but mm. then like you have to deal with those stuff like you cannot really get frustrated in the step because you have come this far and then quitting in a moment where something might happen really soon that's really counterproductive so reshma some of her sessions some of a way to calm your mind like how to deal with stuff it really helped mm. and uh, yeah that's an addition that i didn't really expect when i initially joined mpp studios and industry connect but that's something that really helped me in the long run fantastic and i'll tell reshma too because she loves doing those she loves to see people grow in in and these are skills that you're going to take with you in life it's not just yeah. for the now you know oh is that it's all gone now this is life skills that's why it's called life skills you know it's going to yeah. you implement that throughout your life and that's so so good and especially in this day and age you know we things are happening all over the place you know yeah, yeah, yeah. one day it's this next day it's that so being able to manage yourself in a healthy way yeah keep going is such a a a strong thing to have in your tool belt for life I yeah, believe. I yeah. agree with that. Yes. So, Manish, last but not least, okay, what tips would you give someone that um is finding it hard to enter the IT software market? What kind of tips? What would you say to them? Uh, to begin with, don't stop trying. That's the best. best advice i think cuz there is a point where you think that this is not for me or i can't do it but maybe someone does it in 2 months i did it in 6 months maybe someone will, someone will do it in a year mm. eventually it's going to happen but you have to keep that patience maybe you don't earn enough money now maybe you don't have enough money or you don't have a good life now but you can't really expect that life to come so easily you have to work for it and in the end if you really want a career in technology so you have to stick to it there's no shortcuts i suppose because you have to learn the learn like you have to walk that path and there's no shortcut to it so if, in the end you stick to it enough if you, you stick to it long enough then you're going to get something in the end and something that you'll enjoy that you will enjoy and that you will cherish because if you don't work hard for something and you get something so that's not really rewarding in the end but mm-hmm. after a struggling after a struggle you get something i think that's more rewarding any fight for it mm. more better than you do in the other sense i love the way that you articulated that and i love your mindset and the thing is is when you how you spoke just then uh, um you know it's so true in the struggle you grow a lot yeah. you don't even realize at that point that you have grown a lot until later on down the track you might think oh my gosh i used to be like this and now i'm like that because of the push through because of perseverance and yeah. that's how a person grows you know and yeah. and especially in tech in the in the in this field you have to be okay with continually learning and stretching because it's going to be forever yeah yeah <laughs> this is the career okay. you want you're going to have to get your head around that you're not going to ever know everything yeah. but you're going to be learning as you have you to be open to that learning process you cannot just yeah. say that this is it i'm not going to learn anymore awesome. that's not how this works yeah that is definitely not how it works yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well manesh thank you so much for your time and sharing your journey and everything we just here or the whole team here at industry connect and mvp studio just want to say congratulations we're so proud of you and you're going to go far because look at what you've just shared and how you've shared it i just see you um climbing that ladder um in the field that you're where you wanting to go because you've had that focus for a long time yes, that you're going to get there and i believe it's not going to take a long time because your mind is already set so thank oh, you I so hope, much I hope, i hope that's true <laughs> thank you and i really want to thank you industry connect the team at industry connect and the mvp studios because honestly speaking the like when i came in a year ago like when i joined industry connect a year ago i didn't really expect much in the beginning i just thought like uh, this is the best course possible for me right now but i didn't really expect this to turn out the way it did now and i really owe a lot to industry connect and mvp studio for that thank you so much everyone <laughs> thank you so much manesh 
Thanks, everyone. We'll catch you again soon when I get to sit down with someone else. Bye. Uh -huh.